What is this ad for, you might ask? Well, it's for Anchor. Anchor is the simplest way, the easiest way, and in my opinion, the best way to make a podcast. Well, let me explain. So Anchor is a, a web tool that you make a podcast on. You, If you are a dawning podcast maker that is that really just like really wants to make a podcast but you're like well where do i start well first you got to think up a theme for your podcast and second you got to use anchor and with anchor there's so many incredibly easy to uh, um a bunch of tools that are incredibly easy to work with make quality podcasts and just yeah, they're great. Uh, they're it's just great. Anchor even made its own podcast talking about how to make a podcast. Meta. But anyway, you can actually make money. Like like what I'm doing right now with every thousand people, I get fifteen bucks. So you're listening. Thank you. You're paying me. Um, it Anchor distributes your podcast all across all the different platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Breaker. I love Breaker, by the way. It's such a great podcast app. And so many more so that your podcast is not going to go unlistened to. Um, it's just, it's everything to make a podcast all in one place, guys. So if you want to start making a great podcast right now, go to anchor.fm or the anchor or the free anchor app and and make an account and get started it's all free and it's all awesome hello everybody i am your host to this podcast awesome is triple a podcast today i would like to share another podcast that i worked on with some of my friends from school it's called ancient egypt the podcast uh, so it's all about ancient Egypt. We like interview people from ancient Egypt, Egyptian times, and it's funny. It's ancient. It's like it tells you about ancient Egypt. And I just wanted to share a quick episode. This episode I am not in, but I am in. Oh, many of the uh, episodes. So here we go. <laughs> Hello, my name is Sadie. I'm a scribe from ancient Egypt. And I'm Mr. The Dude. I'll be interviewing Sadie. Exactly. Today, I'm going to answer questions about ancient Egypt. You're actually going to be answering questions about writing in ancient Egypt. Oh, sorry. In my time, I was writing about um, Thoth, the, our god of knowledge. I must not have heard that part. That's all right. Let's get started. Okay, your first question is... What was your writing called in ancient Egypt? Well, it was made up of symbols that represented the word, letter, or number that we call hieroglyphics. So what did these hieroglyphics look like? Since they represented things, um, they looked like the word. But we also had an alphabet and numbers which were mostly random. Interesting. So who knew how to read and write these hieroglyphics? Only the scribes and their children who would become scribes knew. So not very many people then knew how to read them? No. So what did you write these hieroglyphics on? We have two things to write them on. The first one is called papyrus. Papyrus is a pulp of leaves and wood that we let dry in the sun, like your paper. We write um, on a brush, with a brush, sorry, uh, and a stick that with animal fur on, as the tassels, and crushed up flowers and berries. We also write in blocks of wet clay, and then we sun dry the clay. That must have taken a lot of time. It does. What do you write about? Like fantasy stories, history, dirty jokes? <laughs> well, we only write about big events, timelines, our gods, and rituals, and our traditions slash rituals. So, do you usually write specifics? Mostly, except with our rituals. For an example, when we mummify somebody, we don't write everything, because if a Roman or any other culture found it and tried it, it would disrespect and displease our gods, and it might even start a war. We also just don't want others to know our secrets. Oh, I understand that. Oh, uh, very sorry. 
I better get going. I will, um, well, I would get in very big trouble if my empress found out that I was gone. Okay, goodbye then. Well, thank you all for listening to our podcast. So yeah, that was the clip of the podcast. Um, if you like it, uh, be sure to check it out on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you li- or wherever you listen. Um, yeah, uh, I I'm in some of them, but yeah, hope you liked it.